As I walk through my neighborhood, I can't help but feel a sense of nostalgia. The Pokemon games have always held a special place in my heart, and I remember spending countless hours playing them as a kid. Emerald was my favorite, and I must have beaten it at least five times. That's why, when I heard about the new Pokemon game on the App Store, I couldn't wait to try it out. But as I started playing, I quickly realized that this game was different from the others. It required me to walk around my neighborhood to catch Pokemon and find Poke Centers. The only problem was that the Poke Center in my area was located in an abandoned church that was rumored to be haunted. I'd always been too scared to go in there, but I knew I had to if I wanted to progress in the game. I stood outside the church for what felt like hours, weighing my options. I kept telling myself that there was nothing to be afraid of, that it was just a bunch of silly rumors. Finally, I found the courage to open the door and step inside. The sound of the creaking door sent chills down my spine, and it was pitch black inside. I slowly made my way through the old building, my heart racing, until I reached the poke center. As I accessed the poke center, I felt a strange sensation in the air. It was as if something was watching me, and I couldn't shake the feeling that I needed to get out of there as fast as I could. I started jogging back towards the entrance, but as I did, I tripped over something on the floor. When I opened my eyes, I saw that it was a corpse, dressed in old tattered religious robes. My immediate reaction was to push it away from me, as if it had been the one intruding on my personal space. I quickly got up and ran out of the church, not looking back. It took me a few days to muster up the courage to play Pokemon Go again, but I eventually did. I've been more cautious since then, avoiding any poke centers that seem even remotely suspicious. I'd rather walk an extra mile to find a different poke center than risk encountering something like that again. As for my brother, Robert, he's always been a bit of an idiot. He's obsessed with Pokemon, even in his 20s, and he's always trying to get me to play the games with him. When the new Pokemon game came out for iPhones, he badgered me non-stop to download it and play it with him. At first, I resisted, but eventually, I relented. I didn't want to play the game, but I didn't want to hurt his feelings either. So, we went for a walk, and he showed me the ropes. We were walking towards our favorite donut shop when he suddenly stopped and said, Wait, there's a column across the street. I'll be right there in a minute. I sighed and watched as he crossed the street. But before he could even take three steps, I heard a car horn and a loud noise. I turned around to see my brother lying on the ground, bloodied and brain dead. I ran towards him, knowing it was too late, and tried to check his pulse anyway. He was gone, and I was left with the weight of my grief and the guilt of not being able to protect him. I can't help but think about how differently things could have turned out, if only I had been more careful. If only I had stopped him from crossing the street, or if only I had never agreed to play the game with him. But life doesn't work that way, and now I have to live with the consequences of my actions. All because of a stupid Pokemon game.